Hey guys, so welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can obtain a Google Recapture version 3 credentials and use them with WP Event Manager's Google Recapture add on. Uh, if you don't know what Recapture is, uh, a short summary for that will be Recapture is a, a solution or service provider uh, who uh, gives you like an automatic bot challenge or like a security challenge to prove yourself uh, that you are not a bot and not, you are not trying to perform any autonomously task in a, a WordPress website or in any website. Uh, since you know, WP Event Manager has quite a bit of uh, form submissions uh, or like submission form in the front end side where you can submit like your events, your organizers, your venues, uh, your Zoom meetings and other things uh, to prevent them from bot form submissions. Recapture is a battle tested and a proven solution. So getting started is like very uh, easy uh, we have shown you how to install the plugin itself in the wordpress environment and now today i'm going to show you how to configure it using the version 3 site key so to get started uh, i'm going to go to wp event manager settings section first and then we're going to switch to the uh, recapture tab and over here you'll be able to see like we do support version 3 and version 2 both type of security key and site key uh, today's version gonna be the version 3 which we're gonna obtain from google so in a new tab uh, i have already opened google.com slash recapture i'm gonna leave this link in the description for your convenience so over here when you are here obviously you will need a google account first and i am already logged in and i'm gonna go to this version 3 admin control when we are at this page if you are not logged in already so this would be a time uh, to log you in into the Google Recapture website, Google will ask for it. If you have an already uh, registered site for Recapture, then you will not see this section over here. Uh, apart from that, you will see like a dashboard of your uh, site data. Uh, that's pretty easy. I'm going to show you how to uh, create a new project, obviously, when uh, this project is created, the new one for existing users. And if you are a new user on Recapture, so follow my steps over here, like we are doing here. Uh, by default, you will see this form over here. Uh, all you have to do is fill out a label so you can identify the uh, security key or site key later on, like what purpose you used it for. So I can type in my event platform v3 and then uh, pay attention to this section recapture type. So we're gonna like set in recapture 3. Okay, so if you ask me what's the difference between uh, recapture v3 and v2, uh, there is a difference of the mechanism they uses for uh, recapture or like bot verification all right so recapture version 3 verifies users with a score of their internal metrics when recapture version 2 provides you with a, a physical challenge all right so recapture version 2 does have the score metrics as well if you come here you will see uh, the first the choice will be the I am not a robot tick box that we used to see on the internet or they will be the invisible recapture back uh, badge uh, which will validate requests in the background and then recapture Android which is no use of ours at this moment uh, but yeah that's basically used for recapture in Android applications but yeah I'm not gonna select recapture version 2 uh, since we are gonna use recapture version 3 so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna also take the Take, take a look at the recapture version 3 mechanism in the website itself in upcoming video so do stay tuned for that and next what we have is domains so over here you will have to type in your website's domain name just the domain name nothing else no https no www uh, just the domain name itself okay so i can type in my domain name and then obviously you will have to select your uh, recapture terms of service then what we can do we can click on submit all right so when you click submit it's gonna present us with a site key and a secret key which we'll need uh, to copy and then we're gonna paste it into our wordpress website so let's copy the site key first then we're gonna come to our uh, wordpress website we're gonna paste site key here and then secret key and then we're gonna paste it here so that's all you have to do now you can hit on save changes it's gonna save the changes and your recapture configuration with version 3 site key and secret key is done that's how simple it is to get started and like i promised i'm going to show you uh, how to create a new project if you have existing project in your google recapture console that's pretty easy so let's go back to uh, the home page 
so over here when you have a existing product project with your google recapture uh, what you can do is click on this little plus icon over here that will let you create a new project uh, to obtain your recapture site key and secret key from over here you will have to perform this exact same step that we have shown before uh, label your recapture version domain uh, then accept terms and conditions then submit it will give you an site key and a secret key in an instant so let me know in the comment if you have any more confusion or questions about the process itself later on we're going to take a look at the uh, mechanism or like logics how it works in the wordpress website itself and until next time i'm sure saying goodbye thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next one